y'all doing today? Hi there, it's Joe Did here on this beautiful Wednesday. I am here in my city park, um, just out enjoying some fresh air, the beautiful sunshine here in Texas, and gorgeous, just a few clouds. Um, so I wanted to talk about something here, and I want to ask you, are you behind? Do you feel like you're behind? So as you know, I do a Delight in the Word challenge every month. And for this month, it's actually going for the summer. It's not just a month. It, we're doing it on self-care. And I've posted a Bible reading plan on self-care. And I have my book, which a lot of you have, that has the five weeks, which has uh, one uh, a day, some, some page, two pages per day for you to do for each day. And... So I know some of you started at the beginning of June and some of you are starting now and some of you are saying, you know, where are we supposed to be in this study and am I behind? And so I wanted to address that. And this is something that I've been learning in another group that I'm in um, where a lot of people, you know, she posted some assignments and some homework and things. And some people were feeling like, you know, I'm behind. I haven't done the work. And um, she told us, um, you are not behind wherever you're at is where you need to be on your journey right now and so um, I think there is a balance of that and you know taking it being accountable and responsible but where I want to get with this is that um, my purpose here is not to have a something a plan a schedule for you to follow that you have to fit into your life um, my purpose in doing these Delight in the Word challenges and having the reading plan is to have you a, give you a guide, a starting place, and something that we can all talk about together. Um, but it is mainly to whet your appetite for the things of God and for the Word of God and for what God wants to speak to you. And so that you are coming from coming to God and to His Word from a place of desire from a place of delight, not from a place of um, discipline or have to, or, you know, this is what I've got to do um, because this is what good Christians do or, you know, anything like that, but coming to it from a place of delight, like, oh my goodness, look how much amazing truth there is to discover in God's word. Like he loves us so much and he has so much to say on every topic there is. We're, this summer, we're talking about self-care. The Bible has a lot to say about that. And so this is a starting point if you are interested in that, if you're interested in knowing, and I believe it can help us to grow and to live fully alive when we're caring for ourselves because we live in this body. And so it needs to be healthy for us to live fully alive and to accomplish all that God has for us. And so that is my purpose in doing these challenges and so do not feel like you're behind if you're feeling like that um, reflect a little bit and think you know am I coming from this as a place of you know this is something I have to do um, you know I need to be more disciplined or whatever um, and look at it is you know ask the Lord how can I delight in your word? You know, Y'all who know me know that one of my favorite scriptures is delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So it's delight. It's not um, that hard discipline thing. It's like, oh my goodness. When you get in God's presence, he is so amazing. He's so wonderful. You want more and, and it's just a delight. And that delight, it gives you life. It gives you energy. Um, whereas discipline often will squash that, you know, and make you feel, you know, um, more uh, lower energy. And so um, I invite you to step into delight. And that's why we have the creative part that engages your delight as well. When you get to do something creative that you like, um, a lot of my things have to do with coloring. If coloring is not your thing. Find something that gives you that delight. You know, if it's painting, if it's singing, if it's dancing, whatever. Uh, all of those creative things help us to get into our right brain, into the uh, into our heart, where it, is, where it is that we connect with God. It's not in the left brain analytical thinking. So that is the purpose of that. And so 
um, wherever you're at, please share. Um, share your pages, share your ahas, share what you're learning, um, share your journaling, um, because it helps, it encourages us. And, and um, also when other people share, don't feel like, oh, I'm behind, I haven't done that yet, but you know, let it spark that delight and that curiosity in you to think, oh, I can't wait to get to that day. You know, that, that looks like a wonderful day and that, you know, that scripture, I wanna, wanna learn more about that. Um, and also I want to invite you to a couple of opportunities for more delight that is coming up this week. So on Thursday um, at one o'clock central time, I am interviewing a friend of mine who has just been experiencing some amazing transformation and is just so much on fire and lit up with energy. And I want her to share that with you, um, to inspire you as well. And then on Thursday at 3 p.m. Central, I will be hosting another Ask Jesus workshop. So I held one last week and there were many of you who said, you know, oh, that was a very short notice. I would love to do that. I wasn't able to make it. So I'm holding another one on Thursday at 3 p.m. And all of those who have purchased my book in any of the formats, you get that workshop, you get access to this workshop for free. Um, if you don't want the book, you can just get the workshop, um, but it is $27. So it's a lot uh, cheaper to get the book. Um, and it, they go together because the Ask Jesus workshop is showing you how to use the Ask Jesus box and the My Response box that are in the journal, the self-care journal that I created and how to use those to do two-way two journaling of your conversations with Jesus. Um, and just think about how it will feel to hear from Jesus directly um, about a question, to hear him speak to your heart, um, something personal, something just for you, something just, you know, uh, um, how, how will that feel and how will that change your life. I can tell you in my own experience, you know, just having God uh, tell me something um, like, for instance, asking him, you know, what is it that you love about me? You know, or how am I like you? Because that's the, the question on day one of the study of the self-care study is we're looking at we're made in the image of God. And so we ask him, you know, well, if I'm made in your image, you know, just like, you know, I'm my my earthly father, you know, I may look like him or sound like him. Um, how do I look or sound or act like you, my heavenly father? And when he told me how specifically how I was like him, oh my goodness, that filled my heart with so much joy. And I want that for you too, and you can have that. And so I wanna lead you in that activation and that practice, um, and you can hear from God in this way. And so I want to I want to help you to discover that and to delight in the Lord in that way. So that's coming up on Thursday, and then um, all this week enrollment is open for Camp Come Alive. So if you are one of those who's feeling like oh I'm behind or you know I really want to do this study but I have all these other things I'm not sure how to fit it in or you know I'd like a little bit of accountability because I really that kind of helps me you know to um, to stay with my commitments well this is for you so Camp Come Alive is to help us all to come alive by um, as we study about self-care and as we practice self-care so we're gonna go I'm gonna go through we're gonna have weekly zoom sessions going through the self-care journal um, so that will give you and the purpose again is not to make you feel bad if you miss it or if you haven't done the homework but to give you to spark that delight in you to say oh I want to get I want to do my uh, exercises in these pages so that I can talk about it and share and so that I can hear what other people are sharing and know what they're talking about during this time and we can all learn and grow together so that is the purpose of camp come alive and then also well, there'll be some extra creative activities some guest speakers um, just fun stuff to spark our delight and our desire to know God better and to just fully come alive into who uh, God created us 
to be. So I will be posting the links below. There's posts below where I've talked about um, the, the Bible study and the book and the um, Ask Jesus workshop and Camp Come Alive. You can, um, I'll post them, try to remember to post them below this video, but they're, they're in the, the feed below as well. So let me know if y'all have any questions and I hope to see you um, live on my interview, which will just be on Facebook with my interview with my friend Annette at 1 p.m. on Thursday and then the Ask Jesus workshop. You should be getting um, access to that um, in your account if you've purchased the book and um, then the Camp Come Alive also would love to see you enrolled in that. So y'all have a wonderful Wednesday. I will see you soon.